Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to introduce you three important points to keep in mind while learning Kanji that will help you learn them faster and effectively. This video is in English for the students who don't understand Hindi. Welcome to New Hongo Max. My name is Ravi. Let's start. So quickly coming to the point number one, learn Kanjis like suffix and prefix. Like in English language, when you learn new words, you come across many prefixes and suffixes. Like in case of prefixes, if you see a word starting with re, you know it means again. For example, reorganize, rebuild, reproduce. A word starting with un means not. For example, unable, unfit, unwanted. Likewise, in case of suffixes, words ending with able means can. For example, curable, workable, available. Kanji characters are like these affixes. Each has its own meaning. And if you know these meanings, it's easier to understand new words. You can guess at the meanings if you know the kanji. Like uh, like this kanji, atarashi, means new. So the words shinsha means new car. Shinsaku means new composition or uh, new product. Likewise, sai means re. So the words saikon means to remarry. Saikido means restart or uh, reboot. Point number two. Learn kanji as an image? Well, no. Some people think that it is easy to remember kanji when you associate it uh, with an image. However, this may not be the case always. A few examples in the beginning of learning Japanese kanji may allure you to this method. Like uh, when a student starts learning about yama or kawa, he may find it easy but uh, only for a few 10 or 15 kanjis. But like as uh, I gave you the example of Atarashi and Sai, rest of them actually don't make sense to an image. And eventually we have to shift, shift to the uh, rote learning process or we say drilling process where we learn kanji as a list of vocabulary. So the point here I want to address is not to get afraid of drilling. Try it by making a schedule or a fixed pattern. Now uh, what is a schedule and how important it is? Some people say it is beneficial to learn kanji by making kanji cards or to write them repeatedly until you memorize them. But hey, uh, what about the combinations like we discussed just now? And uh, what about the sentences that are spoken in bundle when you talk to a Japanese person or get to solve a long comprehension in, uh, for example, JLPT? So the solution is, why not directly try to learn them by reading and speaking? By this way, we can quickly memorize the combination and the individual kanji can be learned later when it comes naturally. This way, a vast vocabulary list can also be covered and uh, side by side you can master the long comprehension techniques that I have explained about uh, in my almost every other video. And every time I'm asked about the material, I always say that it is plenty. It is in plenty over the internet. Go find it. And the best source uh, as in my prospectus is of course nyongomax.com so uh, what is an individual kanji and what is a combination this brings out uh, uh, to our uh, next point point number three about onyomi and kunyomi onyomi is referred as japanese uh, japanese reading and uh, kunyomi is chinese reading however as i have many many a times told you in my previous videos that uh, don't try to learn everything at once for the beginning time you can keep in mind that Onyomi is the combination reading and Konyomi is the original one. Just this. Like in the previous example, uh, Atarashi is the original reading of this kanji and Shin is the combination reading. So like this, uh, keep things simple so that you may not get confused and eventually leave Japanese language forever. Because sometimes there uh, there can be many combinations reading uh, and, and for that matter even the original readings. So take it easy. You can choose the way you want to learn it in the beginning and soon you will uh, find uh, uh, not much difficult as you proceed with the sentences and examples. I hope this video has helped you understanding the methods of learning Japanese. Keep watching Nihongo Max. Thank you so much.